Hey guys, Photo Trade Textbook. In this video, we'll discuss the trading plan for your dollar. I will share with you the forecast for dollar yen. We will execute multiple time frame analysis on dollar index, and we will analyze gold. And we will discuss the smart money concept on gold. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And let's start. I want to start our analysis with the dollar yen pair. We are in a daily time frame, and here it is very important to analyze the price action to execute the trend analysis first. And I want you to realize that here we are trading in a minor bullish trend. The market keeps setting the higher highs and higher lows. And that week was very important for the pair because that week. After the consolidation, after some indecision, the market bounced. And here in the daily, we formed a high momentum bullish candle. And why that high momentum bullish candle here is so important? Because with that candle, we set a new high high. And that signifies that bullish trend here continues and bulls keep dominating. Moreover, looking left at structure, I want you to realize that here we got our previous high. And if we extend that horizontal structure, you can see that here we got a very important structure cluster. Yes, you can see that in the past, that was a very important support cluster that turned into a very important resistance and that was respected multiple times. And definitely that structure cluster now turned into a very strong support. Hey guys, let's change to join my premium group on a huge discount. Until Sunday, you can get a lifetime access to the group with the 40% discount. What you will get? You will get the lifetime access to my premium signals group. You will get the access to my daily live streams with live trading and live Q&As. Also, you will get my ebook and video course teaching you my trading strategy. For more info, check my website. It is vasilytrader.com slash private group. The link in the description below or text me in one of the social networks. I will give you more details. Don't miss your chance, traders. Moreover, here, if we analyze the high values, we can spot right here a very important rising trend line. Yes, you can see that here the price respects that rising trend line and the trend line. And that horizontal structure now compose the contracting zone of demand. The zone from where I would recommend you to look for buying. The thing is that I really think that the market is quite overbought with that candle. And I think that we might see some pullback here on dollar yen. If we analyze the last impulses. Here we got our very strong bullish impulse, then the retracement follows. And if we copy and project that bullish impulse from the completion point of the retracement, you can see that here we have a perfect harmonic movement. Yes, the ABCD pattern. And of course, of course, that pattern increases the probabilities that we're going to see a pullback right here. So from that zone, we will look for buying. And from that zone, we will expect a bullish continuation. The next goal for buyers will be the next strong resistance. And our next strong resistance will be over here, traders. And I strongly believe that that structure will be the next goal for buyers. So the trend on dollar yen will most likely remain bullish. We most likely see the retracement, and that will be the area from where I would recommend you looking for buying. The next one on focus is dollar index. We own a daily time frame, and here let's analyze the Moki trend first. As you can see, we are trading in a bearish trend, and the price keeps setting low lows and low highs. But at the same time, it is very important to note that the index also reached a very important horizontal support. And you can see that even though we are trading in a bearish trend, the fact is that so far bears didn't manage to violate that structure to the deal side. And moreover, this week we got a very strong rejection from that structure. Then zooming in the chart and analyzing just the recent price action, we can also spot right here a very important falling trend line. And you can see that so far that trend line is the resort for sellers to sell from. And for now, we see very strong bearish reactions from that. And even though the trend is bearish, I see right here a classic reversal pattern. Do you see the pattern right here? In order to spot that, first of all, let's underline its neckline. Here goes its neckline, and you can see that its neckline is a very important horizontal resistance that was respected multiple times by the market. 
Then here goes a very important element of this pattern, the so-called cop, right here it goes. And then over here we have the handle. Yes, so here we have the perfect example of the cop and handle pattern. And you can ask me, why do you call that the cop and handle pattern if it looks like a double bottom? A very important element of a cup and handle pattern is the channel that is formed within the handle. And analyzing the handle here in a four hour time frame, we can spot that when the market was forming the, the handle, we formed right here this falling channel or the expanding wedge pattern. And a very important element of this pattern is the breakout, a bullish violation of the resistance of the channel. Now returning back to the daily time frame, I want to remind you that the pattern by itself does not confirm the bullish reversal. However, it just increases its probabilities. In order to confirm the bullish reversal, what we should look for right here, we should look for a breakout of the neckline of the pattern. So if the price violates that horizontal resistance, next week that horizontal neckline, we will expect a bullish continuation at least to that structure. It will be the next strong resistance. And why the neckline breakout right here will be so important? Because first of all, the neckline by itself is a very strong horizontal structure and its violation will indicate the strength of the bulls. And moreover, the violation of the neckline also will confirm the violation of that falling trend line. So we're going to see the double breakout. So for those who are looking for the confirmed bullish reversal in the dollar index, just wait for a neckline breakout and then look for buying opportunities on the retest of a broken neckline and the trend line. That will be your zone to buy from. The next instrument that we'll discuss is your dollar. We are on a daily time frame and analyzing the market trend. I guess we can easily spot that your dollar is trading in a strong bullish trend. Then zooming in the chart and analyzing just the recent price action, we should realize that even though the market is trading in a bullish trend, this week after the test of that high, we didn't manage to set a new high, high, high close. And instead, we set the equal high, perfectly respecting that horizontal resistance. Even though the market set equal highs right here, the market keeps setting the high lows. And if we draw the trend line, we can spot that for now, the market perfectly respects that rising trend line. And that trend line right here and that horizontal resistance compose the classic ascending triangle formation, a classic trend following pattern. And the trigger that we are looking for to catch the next bullish wave is a bullish breakout of the neckline of a triangle. So next week, if you are a trend following trader, I would recommend you waiting for a daily candle close above that horizontal resistance. If the peer manages to violate that, if the peer manages to close above that, probabilities will be high that then the market will keep growing. And the zone for buying will be based on the broken neckline and the trend line of the triangle. And where the market will go in case of a breakout? Let's look left at structure. Looking left at structure and analyzing the horizontal key levels, we can spot that our next key level will be over here. Yes, that resistance cluster will be the next goal for buyers in case of a breakout. So here you can catch a very nice profit if you wait for a breakout and then buy on a retest. Last but not least is gold. And let me remind you first that gold is trading in a bullish trend. Yes, analyzing the price action here on a daily, we can spot that the market is trading in a bullish trend. And even though the market started a correctional movement after it set the new hoi 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 clues here on a daily, technically speaking, we are still bullish. And previously, in my previous video, we have spotted the zone of demand here in gold. And that zone was based on that trend line that the price perfectly respects and that 
horizontal strips. Yes, so you can see that the mold kit for Neo is perfectly respecting that expanding zone of demand. So from that zone, the mold kit will most likely bounce. And I want you to realize, tutors, that even though the market here remains very weak, and in the sense of even though for the last two weeks we see very weak candles right here, even though the market looks exhausted, the fact is that smart money are here. How do I know that? Here volumes will help. If we open the volumes and if we check what is happening within that consolidation, we can spot that even though the market keeps forming very weak candles, even though we are trading in a very narrow range, even though it looks like there is no interest right now in gold, you can see that we have sudden volume spikes right here. And you can see that volumes here are very high. What does it mean? Let's open the 4-hour time frame. Here in the 4-hour time frame, we can see in details what is happening and we can see in details the source of the volume spikes. If we analyze this structure, here we can spot a very important horizontal resistance and here we can spot a very important horizontal support. And you can see that the volume spikes match with this horizontal structures. That is the perfect example of the order block. And the idea is, traders, that when we see the signs of smart money, it means that the smart money are preparing for a very significant move. And in order to initiate that move, in order to be involved in that move, smart money needs liquidity. And the order block is the main source of liquidity for the smart money. And by the way, for those who are wondering who exactly are the smart money, smart money are the big players. The central banks, the hedge funds, these are the guys who have a lot of money. And these are the guys who move the market. So order block provides the liquidity for the smart money. And they are accumulating their positions and they are waiting for something important. And guess what they are waiting for? If we open the economic calendar, do you know what is going to happen next week? Next week, we're going to see the Fed interest rate decision, the FOMC. And I guess, traders, that for now, smart money didn't know where the market will go. And for that reason, they keep accumulating the liquidity, they keep accumulating the buying, the selling volumes, and they are preparing for the both scenarios. But once they knew, we will see the initiation of a strong movement. And in order for you to correctly catch this movement, First of all, remember that the trend is your friend and it is better to be on the side of the trend. In order to catch a bullish continuation, just wait for a bullish breakout of that resistance. Yes, a bullish violation, bullish breakout of that resistance will be a very important trigger for you. That will be the trigger for you to buy expecting a bullish movement at least to that resistance. Alternatively, of course, a bearish violation of that support will push the market lower. But remember that over here we have also the falling trend line, the horizontal structure support. So I would not recommend shorting. Keep monitoring gold next week and let's hope that we will manage to catch a very nice move there. Traders, remember that if you have any questions, always feel free to ask me in the comment section. I always reply. Also, traders, if you want me to analyze something else for you, please ask in the comment section. Also, traders, don't forget about big spring sale on my premium group, 40% off until Sunday. Don't forget to check the link in the description below for more details. Also, traders, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching.